This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on that later. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Modern Hobbyist. Now, you might have already noticed, but I am once again in a different office. And that's because it has been an absolutely crazy couple of months for my wife and me. Long story short, we discovered that our old house was infested with what appeared to be bull snakes. And after catching five or six of them, we hadn't even made a dent in their population. So we threw in the towel, packed up our stuff, checked it off for snakes, and moved out. So you're gonna have to bear with me because we've now got a three bedroom house jammed into a two bedroom apartment. So you can tell it's pretty crammed, but I'm gonna do my best to keep making awesome projects for you guys. Now, you may remember a long time ago on this channel, I made a do-it-yourself teleprompter to help me record videos a lot faster with fewer mistakes, which made it so much easier to actually edit the video. Something about being in front of a camera makes my mind go completely blank and I can't remember more than like one sentence at a time. Now, that was in the early days of this channel and I have gotten a lot better at talking to the camera over the years, but I still use a teleprompter to record new videos. Now, I don't generally do vlog style videos, but I got to thinking that there are probably vloggers out there that struggle talking to a camera like I do. I know it's hard to imagine a vlogger that doesn't like being on camera, Damn! but I'm sure some exist. So to help out those vloggers that are uncomfortable talking to a camera, I decided to make a portable vlogging teleprompter that functions just like a regular teleprompter, but that's battery powered and small enough that you can hold it comfortably with one arm. Let's get started. Now, most of the electronics in this project are the same or similar to the full-size teleprompter that I made. I've got a 3.5 inch touchscreen for the display and a Raspberry Pi acting as the brains. I'll also have an Arduino Pro Micro reading button inputs and emulating a keyboard to allow the vlogger to speed up, pause, and slow down the script. Now, Raspberry Pis are incredibly hard to get a hold of right now, but luckily I have a Raspberry Pi from a previous failed project. I ripped the USB ports off though, so I'll have to solder a USB cable directly to the pins to allow the Arduino to communicate with the Pi. But that should be the only difficult bit of soldering thanks to today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a company that specializes in PCB prototyping and small volume production, making it the perfect one-stop shop for all your do-it-yourself project needs. Using their online tool, you can upload a Gerber file, select your settings, and get 10 custom PCBs for only $5. They also provide 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding services. So make sure to check out the link in the description below so you can take your do-it-yourself projects to the next level. Huge thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and for providing the PCB to handle all the button inputs for the mini teleprompter. Now let's get back to building it.
And with that, my mini vlogging teleprompter build is done. Just like the full-size teleprompter I made, this one uses a Raspberry Pi that spins up a local web server and opens up a Chromium window in kiosk mode to display it on the 3.5 inch touchscreen. A small piece of beam splitter glass is used to reflect the text, although at an arm's length away, I don't think beam splitter glass was entirely necessary. I think a small piece of acrylic would get the job done for cheaper, but having a real teleprompter glass in there does make it a bit easier to read. The camera mounts onto an Arca Swiss adapter, which I have on all my various tripods, so I don't have to keep switching out plates on my camera, and the lens slides into a 3D printed shroud to keep any backlight from reflecting off the glass. The base of the teleprompter has a handle with integrated buttons that allow me to control the speed of the text as well as pause it. In the end, this thing turned out awesome. It's super easy to read from and operate, it boots up quickly, and it's super compact and battery powered, which is super convenient. You can also upload as many scripts as you need to it, so for example, if you're filming at a convention, you can upload all of the talking points ahead of time and leave your computer at home. And if you want to maintain the free-flowing feel of normal vlogs instead of uploading a whole script, you can just upload a list of talking points and use the pause button until you're ready for the next topic. Now the only downside to this build so far that I've noticed is that the touchscreen isn't amazing and I couldn't get a pop-up keyboard to work. So if you have lots of scripts loaded onto this thing, it can be difficult to browse through them. But luckily since it's just running a Chromium window in kiosk mode, you can use the same speed up and speed down buttons to scroll the web page. Also, this thing isn't super lightweight, so if you're filming for long periods of time, your arm might get worn out pretty quickly. But hopefully using a teleprompter means you can get through all your talking points in less time, so the added weight shouldn't be too much of a burden. And that's all there really is to say about this thing. I'm super excited with how it turned out, and I'm curious to see what kind of uses I can find for it. Anyways, I'll have the instructions for building this teleprompter in the description below in case any of you would happen to be vloggers that could use something like this. Also, I'm not an expert at any of this stuff, so let me know what you thought of this project in the comments, or if you have any improvements or fixes that I should implement. And lastly, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Otherwise, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.